What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Tony the Lamry. Thanks for tuning in to a brand new episode of Brother Please Hear Me Out. Now, do me the biggest favor and go ahead and share this video with everybody you know because it is extremely important for us as a people to get this kind of information out there amongst us as it pertains to artificial intelligence and automation and making sure that we are ahead of the curb when it comes to the transformation that is preparing to happen within this country within the next 10 years. As I discussed in the last episode, within the next 10 years, years this country is going to look vastly different from where it is right now so you're either going to get with the program or you're going to get left behind the only thing that you need to be focused on and studying on right now if you're pursuing higher education is getting a degree and or certificate in computer science computer engineering coding software development any and everything that has to do with tech we need to get ahead of the game with that because we are far behind the eight ball right now, economically speaking already. We are the walking dead out here, like I always say, economically speaking. We all know why and how we got to this point, but none of that matters right now. The only thing that matters is what are we gonna do to move forward from here to take at least somewhat of a significant leap forward before the you know what hits the fan, the recession comes, and people start losing their jobs, and then the mad scramble happens where now everybody is looking towards tech and getting these degrees and certificates once everything hits the fan. We don't wanna be a part of the mad scramble. What we wanna do is be ahead of the curve so that we can pursue these degrees and certificates and get involved in these companies, if not starting our own tech businesses in order to make sure that we survive this wave that's coming forth of the fourth industrial revolution. Now let's get into it. And what I want to do today specifically is focus on some startup tools that I can give you and that you can use just to help you get your feet wet in the tech world. So you can really find out what you want to do or what you could do or what you're comfortable with doing as it pertains to coding and software development and whatnot. But before we get into that and those specific tools, I want to read off a couple excerpts from some articles for you just to bring things into perspective of how serious things are getting when it comes to AI automation taking over our jobs. And it's not just the lower level jobs. So if you think that you're working in human resources and marketing and uh, the finance department of your company, you have some middle income job, you think you're safe, you're not. Automation is coming for those jobs too. Now, let me read this article for you real quick. It's from 10medium.com. And this article is titled, Domino's is using AI surveillance to manage store performance. When it comes to pizza, everyone wants the biggest portion of the pie, and few companies are as ruthless in their power grabs as Domino Pizza, which is using AI surveillance to critique employee job performance. The multinational pizza chain has been rolling out its Dom Pizza Checker, a scanning device that looks straight out of Minority Report to identify bad pizzas and stores with poor customer outcomes in Australia and New Zealand. The Dom Pizza Checker, which was advertised to customers earlier this year, monitors employees' efforts through an overhead device equipped with machine learning algorithms and sophisticated sensors. First, it scans a pizza being made and matches it to an order on the kitchen display screen. The device then analyzes the pie and produces a grade based on the cheese border and spread according to the deck. Poorly made pizzas are flagged by a sound notification that alerts the store to remake it. If the checker accepts the new pie, the customer is texted a photograph of the pizza before it gets boxed. Domino's appears to have debuted the checker in July, and a spokesperson for the company told 1-0 on the phone that all stores in Australia and New Zealand now feature the technology. The pizza chain is not alone in embracing technology to drive sales and outpace competitors, and American customers are probably familiar with its infamous pizza tracker feature. A 2013 study correlated the use of anti-theft software in restaurants with an increase in revenue, not because it prevented workers from stealing, but because they felt pressured to sell more food and drinks knowing they were being monitored. 
McDonald's has spent millions to acquire startups that specialize in AI voice systems for ordering, personalizations for drive through menus, and mobile app development. In 2018, Pizza Hut bought the ordering provider Quick Order, marking one of the largest acquisitions in its history. Some chains are even flirting with license plate scanners, like those used by cops to identify frequent customers. Now, do you see how serious this is getting based off of what I just read? You're going to have to make a decision and make a decision quickly on what side of the fourth industrial revolution that you're going to be on. You're either going to be on the side of the pizza maker that's being monitored by artificial inte intelligence, or you're going to be on the other side of AI and you're part of the crew of people that are actually making these devices. You're the coders, you're the software developers, you're the computer engineers, so on and so forth. You're going to have to make a decision because I'm telling you right Right now if you fall on the side of those that are actually making the pizzas and you wait until it's too late to cross over it's only a matter of time before those jobs are obsolete too you better believe right now as we speak they have prototypes of machines right now that are flipping burgers making french fries and making pizzas they really don't need you to do this stuff right now as it is if I'm being completely honest with you, they don't need you to make burgers. They don't need you to make pizzas right now. You could be replaced with machines right now. They're just not doing it for the sake of not destroying the economy by making everybody unemployed overnight. They're slowing down on the technology. It already exists. They're just unveiling it slower and they're just unveiling it at a slow pace. Now, what I want to do is read this next article for you. And there's not much to read from it. It's from collegegrad.com. And the article is titled Top 10 Best College Majors for Jobs. And of course, on that top 10 list, the number one best major is computer science. And I'm going to read the little paragraph that they have underneath it. Remember the predictions that we would be shipping computer science jobs offshore? Nonsense. Computer science degrees, especially those from name brand schools, remain the highest demand of all majors. Many graduates have multiple job offers from which to choose. The next article I'm going to read from comes from study.com. This article is titled Jobs That Are Always In Demand. Number one on that list, software developer. Now, let me read the paragraph that's underneath that. Software developers are responsible for creating new types of software depending on the needs of their clients or the company they work for. They may primarily work in application software, which includes creating user applications for laptops, tablets, and other personal devices like games or word processing software. They could also be system software developers, which involves designing entire software systems, like operating systems from a computer or software system in cars. As technology continues to advance, software developers will continue being in demand and they are expected to experience a 70%, a 17% increase in jobs until 2024. To become a software developer, you generally, you generally need a bachelor's degree in computer science. Now, I'm going to say this much. When it comes to having a degree and or certificate, do you need one to become a software developer or a coder or just pursue a career in the tech industry? The real answer to that is no. A lot of companies right now are hiring people that don't even have degrees in this stuff. They just know how to do it. And they have a track record that shows they know how to do it. Now, I'm going to have an episode on that later on down the line, you know, discussing more on how you can get into the tech world without a degree. But now what I want to do before I leave you is I want to hit you guys with a couple tools that are free for you to access online in order for you to begin your, you know, your venture into the tech world and to find out your place in it, uh, what you want to do from coding to software development and all that good stuff. One of the sites that I use that's really good is called Code Academy. That's C O D E C A D E M Y dot com. I'll leave the link in the description for you below. That's probably the most popular website that you can go to in order to learn how to code and to learn and understand software development and coding languages like Python. Almost everybody goes to Code Academy. 
and the first seven days is free and then after seven days you can either opt into the free membership which is which is good there's nothing wrong with the free membership but there is a pro membership that i believe you can pay twenty dollars a month for and in that pro membership there's just a lot more they, they have a lot more learning tools for you to use to help develop your coding skills and your software development skills so i would strongly recommend that you guys go to code academy or i'm sorry codecademy.com and secondly and lastly the the biggest hidden gem online as it pertains to free education in my opinion is khan academy that's k-h-a-n academy.com k-h-a-n-a-c-a-d-e-m-y.com code academy is a hidden gem out here because when it comes to math and science pretty much any and everything you want to learn is here on this website for free and when you go to khanacademy.com, and I'll leave the link in the description for that below also, and you click on courses in the upper left-hand corner, you will be mind blown with how much math and science and computer engineering programs that they have on here for you to learn for free. And I'm just gonna go to the computing portion and read off what they have. Computer programming, computer science, AP computer science principles, hour of code, computer animation. You could even in the hour of code section, they have it so that you can have even your children get started on this for starting at ages eight and up. So if you have a child that's at least eight years old, they can begin learning how to code now on Khan Academy for free. So this is, like I said, to me, Khan Academy is like the internet's biggest hidden gem. It's the internet's biggest hidden gem because for as popular as it is and for as long as it's been around, a lot of people do know about it, but you'd be surprised about how many people don't know about Khan Academy. So I would strongly recommend that you go to Khan Academy, check out what they have on there as it pertains to computer science and computer engineering, and go to codecademy.com. And codecademy.com, like I said, that's what I personally use. And I think it's just a great place for you to get started, to get your feet wet in terms of finding out what direction you want to go to as you dive into the tech world. So that's all I'm going to leave you with for today. I want to thank you guys for listening to Brother Please Hear Me Out. I've said it a million times, and I'm just going to keep saying this on every episode because repetition is key. If you are not pursuing higher education in the field of computer science, computer engineering, coding, software development, anything that is involved in the tech world with artificial intelligence and automation, you are wasting your time.